doing. I mean, the satellite uh, constellation that we're developing is, is basically to put the internet in space. We, we want to put to what is currently the sure. bandwidth on terrestrial, like on fiber, in space. Basically double the bandwidth on um, the internet that exists. The Block 5 Falcon rocket that we're rolling out uh, later this year is going to have reusable thermal protection on it so we don't burn up uh, the heat shielding on it. It's got much better landing legs that just fold up and just drop the rocket, fold the legs up, ship it, fold them back out when it lands. Elon asked us to do a 12-hour turn. And we came back and said without some major redesigns to the rocket, uh, with just the Block 5, we can get to a 24-hour turn. So he accepted that. We're talking to people about nuclear thermal. The NASA centers are working on clear. It's just prohibitively expensive to test. It's not like the 60s where you can just let fission product fly out of your rocket out into the desert. You now got to scrub it and clean it and, and capture it, which is super expensive. I don't think SpaceX can afford to, to develop that rocket ourselves, but if the NASA ever gets turned on to develop those test stands, we would probably want to jump in on that. You can just about double the performance of a rocket to Mars compared to a really good Raptor system, a chemical system with fission, nuclear fission. We still throw away the upper stage. About 30% of the cost of the rocket is that upper stage. It has a single Merlin engine on it, but a fairly sophisticated version of the engine and also has a guidance computer, a lot of electronics on it. It's a significant cost with the marginal performance that gets returned to launch site reusability, being able to throw some of the biggest satellites we just can't make it close with that size rocket to recover the upper stage. We're going to try in the next few years to start recovering the upper stage, but we won't be able to do it for all missions. That'll help reduce the cost quite a bit.